Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing you a simple wither cage that I came up with which uses the new 1.11 shulker boxes. The purpose of a wither cage is to hold the wither in place so that we can then use the wither's block breaking ability to break blocks without the use of the player. Now this wither cage is very simple. It only takes two iron golems, a wall here, a wither, and a shulker box, and the portal as well as the Damaging mechanism as well as the pushing of the blocks in is optional. The way that this wither cage works is very simple. We have the wither here and his main head which is the center one is currently looking down at this iron golem here and since he can actually see the iron golem which is the red line around it he can actually shoot at it since this wall is in the way. Then we have the two side heads on either side and they're trying to shoot at this far iron golem over there but they are currently using the center head's vision so they're looking with his eyes through this little gap above this ender chest and they can see that red line there on the iron golem so they're trying to shoot at it but since their projectiles which are the black wither skulls are summoned from either side of the head they don't actually ever fit through the ender chest instead they hit on the side here which is this clay since the black wither skulls cannot destroy any blocks that have a high blast resistance such as clay they can actually break this block at all now what's preventing the wither from just flying up over the wall and attacking the two iron golems is that his feet are held in by using these cobble walls down here. So he cannot move forward because the cobble walls are just slightly higher than the block he's standing on. And what's preventing him from flying straight up is the shulker box. And in 1.11 they came out with shulker boxes which are boxes which you can kind of store stuff in like a chest. But they also have this feature that if you look inside of them they will open up and they will expand to not only be the size of 1 meter, but they'll expand into be a size of 1.5 meter. Because the shulker box has this bigger collision box when it's open, this allows us to actually have the wither in a position where he is stuck between this block down here, and since the wither is 3.5 meters tall, he would come up to here, and that would just be shy of a full block. So since the shulker box comes down half a meter, it squishes the wither perfectly in place so that he cannot move at all. With the wither held in place, now we can come in and have blocks placed in around the wither. Then if we damage a wither, the wither will do his block breaking ability, which allows us to break off the blocks without the use of the player. Now to get the wither cage started, you'll want to have a setup like this, where you have the wither mostly made, and he's sitting in this cobble fence area. Then you want to have your wall with the inner chest in the center. Then you want to have a already formed iron golem down here. Then you'll want to have the parts of iron golem set up here, and he'll fall down onto this bottom slab here. Now the most important part about this build is the shulker box which you can get from killing shulkers and taking two shells with a chest and making a shulker box and then you can use dyes to make them different colors. I got this one colored gray and then you just have your shulker box set in here facing downwards so you just aim upwards with your shulker box and you place them up there but to get the shulker box so that he glitches open all the time because currently when you open them up He'll stay open for a bit, then once you exit the inventory, he will close again. So the way that we get him to be glitched like this was a bit difficult. So I asked a lot of the ProTech members if they had any ideas on to how to get the chalker box to glitch open. And Galia suggested using the nether portal open chest glitch, which is where you sit in the nether portal, and then you open up a chest, and the chest stays open. And sure enough, this actually did work with shulker boxes as well. The shulker box will stay open, but if you would happen to open up your own inventory, now if I close my inventory, it would close the shulker box. So I messed around with it a little bit, and I figured out a way to get to glitch open, even if you open your inventory or other inventories. So first you glitch it open by using a nether portal. Then once you have it open, you look inside of a crafting table, and then you exit a crafting table. Now the shulker box will be permanently open until you relog or you unload these chunks, in which case the shulker box will close again. But now you can open your inventory and close it. You don't have to worry about the shulker box closing. Now to summon the wither properly so that he's stuck in the cage, you will need the last wither skull, a bucket of water, and the pumpkin for the iron golem. Now, you can do this in survival, and you can do this in hard mode. I'm in hard mode as well. It's all survival friendly. And you just come in here, and you place in the last skull. Then you place a bucket of water against this piston here. Now, you just want to move your player a little ways out of the way so he doesn't get, like, thrown off of this perch here or get damaged too much until he dies. Now, as soon as the wither explodes, you just come down here and place in the pumpkin on top of the iron golem. 
And now you just wait and hide your hand this block here so that the side heads don't see you. So make sure they're all sitting up and lining and seeing their targets properly. Then you can come over here and look at them. And it looks like everything's going well. You can see that the two side heads are shooting, but not the center head is not shooting. And that's the way you want to have it. Now you can come in and you can activate your um, damaging system if you want. Now you don't have to activate it if you don't want to, but you can see that this wither is perfectly safe. I'm here in survival mode and I'm not taking any damage. Before you summon in the wither, you want to make sure that there is no other mobs at least 40 meters away from where the wither would be. So that way he doesn't mistake in those mobs as his target instead of the iron golems here. And then once you have the wither formed and summoned in, you want to make sure that no mobs attack him. That way the wither does not switch his targets from the iron golems over to the new mob. Now once the wither is nice and proper in his wither cage, you can come in here and push in some cobblestone or you can push in like wood or even mushroom blocks and then you can have the wither actually break those and he'll even break obsidian so you can actually have him as the obsidian farm. Now once you damage wither, he'll do his block, block breaking abilities which will break the blocks and drop them in the item form so you can pick them up and store them. Now here is just a automatic machine over here that will automatically damage the wither. Just put this torch in right here and then just come in and push a block into his head just for a split second so that the wither is damaged but not enough for the wither to actually shoot off the blue wither skulls. So if you would leave that block inside of the wither's head for too long he would stop shooting black wither skulls and start shooting the blue wither skulls which would be able to destroy pretty much any block in the game. Now what makes this wither cage even more special is that we can damage a wither with a block without actually blocking his view of the iron golem. Now if you would block the view which is this red line of the wither from the iron golem back here there's a chance that the wither could shoot off blue wither skulls. Now with this method here you can see that the block is placed in just above the red line here so that Wither is actually never blocks his view, so therefore he can always see the iron golem over there. So you can actually use the block to suffocate the wither and damage him um, as much as you want without the wither ever going to shoot off the wither skulls. Now, when you push in blocks in around the wither, you can place them you know, all the way around the wither, over here and over here and up in front of him. Just don't place them um, like right where his mouth is right here. This would block his line of sight of the iron golem up here. So you can easily push in blocks like a 3x3 three three grid, but just bring it up to here and not push it one more time into his head here. Now the weakest point about this weather cage is the shulker box, which currently it just glitched so that it looked like it was closed, but it was actually open there. But this shulker box is um, the part that could break, and the way that you want to avoid this is by keeping the shulker box loaded. So if you re-log in single player, the shocker blocks will close again and the wither will escape so you want to remove the wither if you're in that case but here I put the whole entire contraption in spawn chunks so if I actually unload the shocker box it's still in spawn chunks so it will still stay loaded so now if I go back you can see that the wither is um, still in place he's being held down by the shocker box even though it looks like it's small if I try to walk in here you can see it's actually big if I just click on it you'll see it go big again but this actually allows it so that you can build this in your spawn chunks, say on a server, where the server is always loaded, and you can have this contraption up so that the wither is always working for you. Now whenever you're building a wither cage, it's always best to have the wither as well as its two targets in the same chunk. That way when the chunk is loaded, all three of them will be loaded at the same time. But other than that, this wither cage here is actually non-locational, so you can build this in the overworld anywhere you want, as well as in the nether, and you can even build this in the end dimension, you just don't have the trick where you glitch the shulker box open, but you could have a player just sit here and click into the shulker box and hold it open. Even though the wither is shooting most of the black wither skulls against this platform here and not destroying anything else around the area, there is a rare circumstance where both black wither skulls will both be shot at the same time. They both hit on the platform. And this will cause one wither skull to redirect the other wither skull, which will cause wither skull to glitch way out here and then shoot off in that direction. Now Myron Erio has made a video about this explaining um, how it happens and why it happens and I will link that in the description. But you do want to um, be aware of this and you can avoid this just by having the wither in a situation where he is um, maybe, maybe underground where there is you know stone around him so that if a black wither skull shoots off it just hits stone which it won't break. Or else you can just build a wall out here so that any black wither skulls that get redirected will just hit the wall instead of hitting something else you built back there. Now when it comes time to kill the wither, you want to come in and attack the wither at his feet. You want to have a block between you and the wither's head so he cannot see you. You want to click the wither about once every second and no faster.
The world download is in the description if you wanted to build this. I do recommend actually practicing how to summon in the weather in like a creative world like this before you actually do it in survival. It will actually help you quite a bit. There you have it guys, a super simple wither cage that uses the 1.11 shulker boxes. I hope you found this interesting, show me the like. If you'd like to see more cool contraptions for 1.11, subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye!